News at 11. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Rob Macko. Two people are dead and two in the hospital after a head on crash that shut down a road in Greenup County. It happened near Interstate 64. 13 News reporter Lane Ball joins us now from Greenup County with the latest. Lane, what can you tell us? Is the road back open now? Yes, the road is back open and this all happened right here on the Industrial Parkway. Now we've learned so far that one of the drivers involved was trying to pass multiple vehicles uh, when they were suddenly when they suddenly hit another vehicle head on. It happened around 6.30 Tuesday evening on the Industrial Parkway between Brush Creek and I-64 in Greenup County. This is the aftermath of the fatal crash. Kentucky State Police Trooper Shane Goodall says the two vehicles involved were an SUV and a pickup truck. It's believed this started when the driver of the SUV went to pass a tractor trailer and another vehicle in front of them. At the time it tried to attempt to pass them, another vehicle was coming southbound, at which time they hit head on. Goodall goes on to say the vehicles appeared to be traveling at full speed when they hit, which, like in this case, increases the risk of a fatality. Two people were in each vehicle. Those in the pickup truck were sent to the hospital, and their injuries are unknown at this time. As for the driver and passenger in the SUV, Kentucky State Police say they died on scene. While details on how fast the cars were traveling have not been released yet, Trooper Goodall is encouraging everyone traveling on roads like this to follow the marked speed limits to avoid an accident. This is a dangerous roadway. It is 55 for a reason. Uh, unfortunately, people will exceed the speed limit and try to take risks that they're not used to taking. And unfortunately, this was a result of one of the risks that was unnecessary. And the identities of those involved have not been released yet. Kentucky State Police are investigating. And I'll continue to bring you updates as I learn more. But for now, reporting live in Greenup County, I'm Lane Ball for 13 News.